Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is going to be a little bit about Inkscape. Uh, somebody turned me on to it, trying to uh, make this lizard more lifelike, and I've done a couple of videos in Corel, and then I started playing around with Inkscape. You can just download it. It's 100% free, user-friendly. It, it looks a little difficult to me. I've watched one video on it, but we're going to bring that lizard, and you can save it. Save it as a Corel file, and you can actually open it up inside of Inkscape. Then if you go to Path and go to Path Effects, and on the Blend part, click on this node right here, and then you can add node by double-clicking, just like you do in Corel. And then we can select all those nodes and turn them into a symmetrical node, and then you get these handles. Now, I'm having a little bit of problem with them being distorted on that arm, but that could be fixed. And it might be just because of that. Maybe I can take away that node right there and just use the bottom. There we go. And then use his tail and you can move his tail around. Now I'm affecting that bottom leg a little bit, but maybe if you did that and, you, and I'm still learning this too, uh, take that away and maybe make that a symmetrical one, click on it, make it symmetrical, and then you can kind of curve his tail. And if you see, you've got a node right there, but then you could add another node right here and curve his body, make him look a little bit more lifelike. Now you can save that as an Inkscape file or SVG file and open it up in Corel, and then you can do whatever you want to with it. So let's import him, I call it lizard, and there's the SVG, and you can see my curved lizard that I just made. Now his leg's a little bit messed up, but we can fix that. We're gonna go to group, group and ungroup, take the shape tool. We still don't have him enough ungrouped because nothing's happening with the shape tool and really nothing's happening. Somehow he got locked. Maybe it comes in locked, but if you grab him with the shape tool, let's grab him with the, let's unlock or ungroup it again, then grab the shape tool and you see the nodes and then you could use your smoothing tool to smooth out that leg or actually take the nodes with the shape and just delete those nodes and then bring in your shape tool or your smoothing tool. And of course I've got it really too big. But this is pretty cool. This is something you cannot do in Corel that I've seen and give the lizard a little bit of a twist. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.